atoms and molecules. We have studied in chapter 1 that every substance around us is made up of matter, haven't we? But what is matter made up of? Well, matter is made of infinite number of indivisible particles called atoms. Atoms combine to form molecules. Scientists were interested to know how exactly these elements combine and what happens when elements combine. So, in this chapter, we shall study important laws of combinations. Ready, are you? Laws of Chemical Combination The two laws of chemical combination established by Lavoisier and Joseph L. Proust are Law of Conservation of Mass Law of constant proportion. So let us study the first law. Law of conservation of mass. The mass of substance produced by chemical reaction is always equal to mass of the reacting substance. Thus, law of conservation of mass states that mass can neither be created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction. The second law is law of constant proportion. Lavoisier along with other scientists noticed that in a compound such as water, the ratio of the mass of hydrogen to the mass of oxygen is always 1 is to 8, whatever the source of water. Thus, if 9 grams of water is decomposed, 1 gram of hydrogen and 8 grams of oxygen are always obtained. Similarly, in ammonia, nitrogen and hydrogen are always present in the ratio 14 is to 3 by mass, whatever the method or the source from which it is obtained. So all these observations led to something obviously. And this led to the law of constant proportions. Now this law was stated as in a chemical substance the elements are always present in definite proportions by mass. The next problem faced by scientists was to give appropriate explanations of these laws. Obviously, if you say a law, you have to explain it. So his theory was based on the laws of chemical combination. Dalton's atomic theory provided an explanation for the law of conservation of mass and the law of definite proportions. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें डाल्टन्स एटॉमिक थ्योरी इन 1808 डाल्टन पब्लिश्ड अ न्यू सिस्टम ऑफ केमिकल फिलॉसफी इन व्हिच ही प्रपोज्ड द फॉलोइंग फर्स्ट मैटर कंसिस्ट्स ऑफ इनडिविजिबल एटम्स सेकंड all the atoms of given elements have identical properties including mass. Atoms of different elements differ in mass. Third, compounds of different elements are formed when atoms of different elements combine in a fixed ratio of whole numbers. And fourth, chemical reactions involve reorganization of atoms. The atoms are neither created 
nor destroyed in a chemical reaction. This theory could explain the laws of chemical combinations. What is an atom? Have you ever observed a mason building walls? It's quite interesting, isn't it? He uses bricks as building blocks. Similarly, the building blocks of all matter are atoms. How big are atoms? Atoms are small, very small. They are smaller than anything that we can imagine, in fact. More than millions of atoms, when stacked, would make a layer barely as thick as this sheet of paper. That's how small an atom is. So, an atomic radius measured in nanometers would be 1 by 10 raised to 9 meters is equal to 1 nanometer. That is, 1 meter is equal to 10 raised to 9 nanometers. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं, तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें। What are the modern day symbols of atoms of different elements? Now everybody has a name and even atoms should have names. Dalton was the first scientist to use the symbols for elements in a very specific sense. Berzelius suggested that the symbols of elements be made from one or two letters of the name of the element. IUPAC, that is the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, approves names of elements. So you do have someone watching what is said. Many of the symbols are the first one or two letters of the element's name in English. The first letter of a symbol is always written as a capital letter, that is, in uppercase, and the second letter as a small letter, that is, lowercase. For example, the symbol of hydrogen is a capital H. The symbol of aluminum is capital A and a small L and not capital A and capital L. The symbol of cobalt is C capital and small O and not capital C and capital O. Symbols of some elements are formed from the first letter of the name and a letter appearing later in the name. Let's see some examples. Uh, well, chlorine is written as C capital and L small. Zinc is written as Z capital and N small letter, etc. Now other symbols have been taken from the names of elements in Latin, German or Greek. For example, the symbol of iron is Fe from its Latin name ferrum. Sodium is Na from natrium. And potassium is K from kalium. Therefore, each element has a name and a unique chemical symbol so that we don't get confused about it, I guess. The symbols of certain elements is given in this table. Let's have a look at the elements and the symbols. Aluminum, Al. Argon, Ar. Barium, Ba. Boron, B. Bromine, Br. Calcium, Ca. Carbon, C. Chlorine, Cl. Cobalt, Co. Copper, Cu. Fluorine, F. Gold, Au. Hydrogen, H. Iodine, 
I iron F E lead P B magnesium M G neon N E nitrogen N oxygen O potassium K silicon S I silver A G sodium N A sulfur S uranium U and zinc Z N अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें ऐसे ही और एजुकेशनल वीडियोस देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल होम रिवाइज को सब्सक्राइब करें